there has been plenty of news over the summer break. Some news that has been quite frankly shocking. And some news that has been expected. So in this video we will look at the news over the summer break. And some news you might have missed. But first let's look at some stories that have gone under the radar. First off how Sebastian Vettel assesses 2018. And he did have a couple of interesting things to say. This is Vettel's assessment. As we've seen this year the pendulum seems to swing once this side wants that side. And obviously if it's like this consistency is the key. Scoring points. I didn't do myself a favour in Germany but I think it's a part of racing. Stuff happens. Compared to last year. We lost the championship I think because our car wasn't quick enough to be a match in the final part of the season. Despite what happened with the DNFs. So I hope that this year and I think this year has shown so far. That our car is more efficient, our car is stronger and still has a lot of potential to unleash. So I'm quite confident with what's sitting in the pipeline that we can improve. So we'll see. Should be an exciting second part of the year. Now when it comes to 2018 Sebastian is right. Their car is a lot better than it was in 2017. And with the aerodynamics and power unit all round is a very good car. But I think he's underrating how his mistakes in Baku and Singapore cost him. In that close title fight last year with Lewis Hamilton. Those two mistakes in my opinion cost him two race wins. And that would have been vital in last year's title fight. And yes the Ferrari car in terms of pace did fall away towards the end of 2017. But let's not underrate these errors. It really did cost him the championship. And his mistakes this year could affect him as well. Now let's get on to another piece of news. About how Toto Wolff said that 2018 has been a marvellous advertisement for F1. This is what he had to say. The battle at the top is more exciting than ever before. And things are also very tight in the midfield. The races have not only produced some great wheel to wheel action on the track. But also some surprise winners. 7 of the 12 races so far were not necessarily won by the fastest car. All in all, I would say that the 2018 season has been a marvellous advertisement for the sport. Now I kind of have to disagree with Toto here. The battle at the top I will agree has been very good but it is not the best of all time. Absolutely no chance. The battle at the top in 2012 was way more exciting. Also in 2010 it was more exciting. And let's not forget 2009. And I could go on with seasons that have had way more exciting battles at the top. And let's not forget the races between Spain and France. They were so, so boring. And a horrible advertisement for F1. Now most of this season so far for me has been very good. But let's not pretend that this season has been great all around. Because it really has not. As there is still fundamental issues. Now let's talk about Felipe Massa rating Fernando Alonso as good as Michael Schumacher. This is his opinion. As for pure talent I would put Michael and Fernando on the same level. Alonso has the gift, the ease of understanding a race. And driving incredibly fast. A highly intelligent driver with extensive skills. And I would say all that also about Michael. Then Felipe went on to how divisive Fernando can be. I have to admit it was not easy to live by his side. I had a close relationship with Michael. I was young and eager to absorb all the knowledge of a 7 time champion. And Schumacher treated me very well. But I had to wrestle with Fernando in a different way. Outside of the race car I had zero problems with Alonso. We have always maintained a healthy working relationship. With Fernando that's one thing. If he pulls down the visor he becomes another person. He can split a team. We saw that in many racing teams he drove for. I see that as his problem. Maybe he could have made more of his talent without this trait. And I have to agree with Felipe about his divisiveness. In Fernando's career he has burned way too many bridges. And that is the reason he has found himself in a very slim McLaren for the previous four seasons. If he wasn't so divisive maybe he would be in a winning car. But who really knows. But I don't think Fernando is on Michael Schumacher's level. Yes I know Fernando beat Michael back in 2006. But at that point in Michael's career he was nowhere near as good as he used to be. Certainly not as good as the late 90s and early 2000s. And Michael was a lot better at building a team around him than Fernando was. And at Ferrari Fernando had two chances to win the championship. In 2010 and 2012. And if Michael Schumacher at his best had been in that car. He would have won both titles in my opinion. Because Michael was just that good. 
but nonetheless, Fernando is still an amazing driver. And I'm sure Felipe Massa will know more about this, considering he was teammates with Fernando and Michael. Now let's get on to the big stories. First off, Daniel Ricciardo going to Renault for 2019. A shocking move to say the least. Absolutely no one saw this coming, as it looked as though he was going to sign for Red Bull. But there you go, he shocked us all and went to Renault. The big question has been, will it work? But like when Lewis Hamilton went to Mercedes in 2013, we just don't know yet. It's going to take time for Renault to start winning races. But we don't know yet if it's going to be a success. We'll see what happens. You also have Force India being saved by Lawrence Stroll. And thank God they were saved. Because it would have been a disgrace to lose them off the grid. Especially after finishing 4th in the Constructors in 2017. And hopefully they do use that new investment well. And you have the news about Fernando Alonso quitting F1. This was not really a shock, but at the end of the day it was still sad. Because all of us F1 fans desperately want to see him in a winning car, but it was never going to happen. This was Fernando's only choice, and I think for 2019 he will be going to IndyCar, where hopefully he can have some success. Now guys, I'm not going to get in depth with these news stories right now, because I'm going to be covering these in separate videos. So stick around on the channel for that. But great news guys, Spa is just around the corner. Hopefully we get some more news between now and Spa. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, I will be back tomorrow with the first episode of my podcast. And don't forget to join my Discord server, a link to that is in the description. Also with my Twitter. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what did you think about these new stories. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazzer HD, goodbye.